What's up everybody, I'm Rick Rich Dick, and this is Alina Abbott, the titular character for this week's comic, Abbott Number 1. It takes you back to 1972 to throw social commentary in your face the right way by saying, hey, this has happened before, let's do something about it. Still, you have to be really into social commentary to make it through this book, because it's drier than a preschool during Prohibition, so Abbott Number 1 is about to get dead. Spoiler alert, there's a brutally mutilated horse in this book. The same thing happens to a human towards the end, but people don't seem to care about seeing gore anymore unless it's to an animal. So you're only getting the spoiler alert for the horse. If your reaction to that last panel was anything like Abbott's, congratulations, you're human. And congratulations to illustrator Sami Cavelli and colorist Jason Wardy for creating a cringeworthy image. An extra shout out to writer Saladin Ahmed for creating a character that seems more human than how the whites treated the African Americans in those times. Boom Studios published this title and they made sure it started off right. You learn everything you need to know in order to get started on this journey from the first page thanks to innovative panel work. It's Detroit, 1972, and you're going to follow a black female journalist as she tries to navigate the racial divide between white police officers and African American citizens. The art is less refined than I would have liked, but the artist put the effort where it needs to be on the page. Gory detail and character expression. It almost feels old timey and that's perfect for this book. However, the dialogue does not have the same 1972 pizzazz as the rest of the book, and the characters are long-winded, which means you're gonna have to grit your teeth and bear it if you wanna follow ace journalist Alina Abbott to the surprising ending of this first issue. But with good historical and comic references, a strong black female lead, and white guys who aren't always the bad guys, Abbott number one gets a seven on the Richter scale for finally delivering a comic that deals with society's problems without heavy-handed overtures. You know what we think of politics and comics, but what do you think? Is this one acceptable? Let us know in the comments below. Like and share this video so it looks like you're a part of the Boom Studio social activism movement. Subscribe for more reviews and come back next week for more. Dead.